All right, here we go. Big Daddy Shin, day 839 in my neighborhood. So, you know, I was thinking about this today. It's like in the morning, you know. I'm well, I, It is the morning, and it, I thought I was going to beat the heat. But no, it's hot. And yeah, you see what I have with the shirt on. It means that laundry day is pretty soon. But uh, what I realized was, you know, the whole thing about motivation, right? Motivation to get out of the house and do your stuff. Motivation to study, motivation to clean, all that stuff. You, you know, some people feel like there's like this like inner voice. Hey, do your stuff, you know, do whatever. You know, you want someone to tell you what to do. And thing is, something messed up along the way. What I realize is, you know, there's a reason why it's like when we evolve, you know, from like when, when we're like babies to, you know, adults. It's like you don't know how to do everything, right? And so, you know, when and I'm thinking about like when I was in like the best shape of my life. You know, I had coaches, and then, you know, play football, wrestling, track, all this stuff, right? But you had these people telling you what to do, and it comes to yourself on, are you going to do it, right? It's not like the coaches or your parents, your friends, it's not like they failed you. They gave you sound advice, you know. All right, thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad, right? It's like they tell you what to do. And it's up to you to grow up and be able to accept it and, and learn it. Same thing with the coaches. The coaches teach you how to stretch, how to warm up, how to all that stuff. And it comes down to what you do in your life, you know? It's like your teachers. They teach you how to study, how to manage your stuff, you know? And it's up to you to either do it or not. I'm just thinking like, oh my gosh, you know, it's so profound. I mean, it's stuff that I thought about before, but I never really, you know, like labeled it because, you know, I could have just sat there and played a stupid game on my phone and I was thinking like, okay, you know, when you're by yourself, you don't have to, you don't have to, uh, you know, be accountable to anybody, Right. Ah, uh, no, I could just play a little bit longer, because who cares if I go 30 minutes later an hour, right? But I kept thinking, like, gosh, you know, if I was hanging out with somebody, it's like, oh, yeah, okay, let's just go. Let's go for that walk. Oh, let's go to eat. Let's go to this, right? But a lot of the things i got to realize, it's like, when people are, you know, find themselves, like, you know, you don't have to do anything, Right? But since you don't have to answer to anybody, you're the direct result of your own happiness and depression, I think. Right? But then when you're with somebody, whether you're friends or you have a girlfriend, or your wife, whatever, right? Then, you know, your, your, your actions depend on more people. Same thing with, like, uh, you know, if you have kids, all that stuff, right? So I'm like, oh, my gosh. So it's like, I think part of the thing that I thought about today was just being more responsible because, yeah, I, I was, uh, well, I mean, my place still isn't clean. <laughs> I cleaned up a little today, but then I started watching uh, boxing. Uh, but yeah, it's about just being strong minded and be like, look, I know how to do all this stuff. I just got to do it. This isn't one of those Nike just do it ads or whatever. It's basically, uh, you know, I got to trust my teachers. Trust the people that taught me everything. And just keep my life balanced. I mean, it's really simple. Because I think most of you, most of all of us, we were like at our best when we were younger. Because people are telling us what to do, you know, and then some people, they still need people to tell them what to do. I get it. You have leaders and followers. The leaders, they have that little voice telling them what to do, but not like someone, because there's a lot of people that expect leadership from these leaders. 
but some it's like they just got used to oh, okay I need to do this I need a lesson plan for this I need goals that we need to achieve one at a time all that stuff but anyways let me just keep walking a little all right it's super hot I just uh, stopped by on this uh, bus stop and yeah, I had to take off that mask and everything. I'm, I'm dying. It's like I can't breathe too well. And it is, you know, I'm listening to the radio and it's just like it's going to be like 90 degrees today. It feels like it already, but we'll see. Uh, I guess I'll be moving on. Uh, okay, this sucks right here. You have this in my face right here. And the sun on this side, so I guess I got to go like this, right? But, I mean, I guess I'm breathing the foresty thing of this, but whatever. Oh my gosh, this guy named Dean Sharp, okay, he's on uh, KFI and he's talking about like the home building and stuff, right? But then I just caught his final words a second ago and then I was like, oh my gosh, profound. Because he's talking about like, you know, when people like trying to fix everything part of their home, all the small little nicks and cracks and I mean, just small imperfections. But like a lot of people, they are striving to make the perfect house instead of just living life, right? So he, he said something that just shocked me, like, oh yeah, you know, a lot of people are are worried about straightening out the pictures in their house instead of making more pictures. I'm going, oh my gosh. So I don't know how that, <laughs> that relates to me because I still got to lose weight. That's a pretty big imperfection right there, right? But I mean, like the small things, I guess, you know, as we get older, we just got to just let things just fly. But I was like, oh my gosh. I mean, it's not the secret of life or anything. But yeah, for me, I unfortunately, I am one of the people that I want to make everything perfect. Right? But maybe, and, and I feel like I'm living life. So, I don't know. I'm just going to let that sink in my head right now. And then going this route was really good. Because... I didn't go to that one street where there's no sidewalks and I can like hurt my ankle. All right, I turned the corner. It's clear sailing. I mean, yeah, it's a busy street right here, but it's not busy today, right? So, uh, let's keep on going. It's hot. All right, there you go, day 839 in the books. So, I had a really productive walk. I mean, it's pretty freaking far. But I, I, I got to hear on the radio some tips. But I've been thinking about the whole, you know, learning life lessons type stuff. I mean, it's so clear. So I think what I have to do is just write a list, a physical list, not like one of those, like, oh, I'll remember it type things. And as soon as I finish it, just cross it off. Right? So we'll see. Anyways, Big Daddy's in day 39. If I, ex if I could access 839 days in a row, you could access 839 days in a row. If I could do it, you could do it. I'm doing it. Learning life lessons.